righty, we're going to talk about stripping uh, UF underground wire. This is, uh, it's typically gray like this, and it's for direct burial, but you do have to put it in uh, PVC conduit or metal conduit where it's coming up from the ground and into the building. And uh, I'll show you how to strip it. You take your knife, go along the side. you got to be very careful so you don't nick your conductors underneath. along my jacket here on the uh, see how uh, you see the white conductor under there so I just got to be very careful not to nick into that insulation on the conductor inside now down here at the end I'll and I'll take my side cutter here and I'll clip in like that Get our wire out of the jacket like this. And I can pull it back like this. And there's our white wire. And where we cut it, hit it with our cutters to pull it out, we'll just cut that bad piece off. Okay, and I'll come over here. I'll get our ground wire out. I'll take my uh, Side cutters clip in like this. Strip in down like this, get it down into my. And there's my bare ground wire there. And I'll pull it down so it's even with this. And I'll cut that little bit off that I grabbed with the cutter. Normally I'd use regular pliers, but I don't have a pair of pliers here. Over here, we, we can just pull it out like this. We can get it out of the gray jacket down here. Just pull this jacket back like this, pull it out like that, and I'll take my side cutters here. I will clip with the flat end here, come up, get that end off, and back here we'll clip that off so we have a nice clean cut here to come into the uh, box so we're hooking up. I'll strip our other end and I'll do the same thing over here. If I can find it. So we'll strip this wire here. One's going to be inside the house, and the other's going to be inside the garage here. So again, we'll take our knife. We'll go very, very carefully not to damage the conductors underneath here. Just get it just 
deep enough. So you're just cutting through the braid. Now at the end of the UI Maverick, it's going to be stripped. And pull it out. There's our white wire. Run it in the wire, the insulation. Cut our gray jacket off like this down the side here. To the other end. Grab the black wire. Pull it back like this. Then I'll take my side cutters, cut flush here, bend it over here. Cut it flush. And we have it nice and clean. I'll just double check, make sure that there's no uh, nicks in the insulation. So I'll just cut off a little bit here where I grabbed it with the cutters. Normally I would have used my uh, pliers, but my pliers aren't here. Unlike regular Romex, you can take, with the regular Romex, you can just take this type of a knife, you can go down the middle very, very carefully and not hit the wires, so you got to keep it in the middle. Now I went over the wire there, so what I have to do is I'd have to cut it right about where I cut into that wire, the conductor inside, and we'll pull it out of the jacket like this. Now I'd feel the wire, make sure there's no damage. Another thing I would do if I'm just ripping the very end is I would take my ground wire and I could pull it up like this and do that and that way you don't hit the wires underneath. Cut it. And that way I have a nice clean cut. So uh, here in the country I was born in, we use a, this is 14 American wire gauge, which use this on a 15 amp circuit. This is 12 American wire gauge. You can use this on a 20 amp circuit. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare, the green is the brown. Unless you're in a switch loop, this white wire can be live, or if it's a 220, 240 volt circuit, this white wire could be live, but then you remark it with some electrical tape to indicate it is live. What you would do is right before where the I would take my black tape, put it go back a little bit here and just wrap it around and identify it as live. And that's how you mark it as a live wire with some black or red tape. And you do that on a 220-240 volt circuit like a heater circuit or a, on a 110-120 volt circuit, a switch loop where the switch is after the light. The power goes to the light first and goes down to the switch. You put the black feed wire to the white switch wire. This will be live, white wire will be constantly live at the switch. When you turn the switch on, the black will be live up at the light. Peace. Thanks for watching.